Welcome and thank you for stopping in. You know LinkedIn has a skill assessments feature? This allows you to demonstrate your knowledge of the skills that you already have on your profile. This is a great way to let employers know that you got skills. I'm going to take the word test. Let's go through it. To find the assessment test, go to your profile, scroll down to Skills and Endorsements. Click on the Take Skill Quiz. There is a list of assessments that you can choose from. I'm taking the Word test, so I'm going to click on this one. A typical assessment consists of 15 multiple choice questions, and each question tests at least one concept or subskill. The questions are timed and must be completed in one session. You have to score in the 70th percentile or above to be awarded a badge. You can choose if you want to display the badge on your profile or not. If you don't pass an assessment, nothing will show on your profile and you can retake the assessment one more time after three months. First question. How can you quickly move an insertion point up to the start of the previous paragraph? Now don't be afraid to open up Word and take a look around. You do have a time limit. You have a little bit over a minute for each question. So have Word open. Have another tab open where you can do a search for some of these questions. I've been using Word for a long time, but a couple of these questions I had to really think about. Number two, what statistic does the word count feature not collect? And we're going to go with page breaks. Question three, what is the difference between a footnote and an endnote? A footnote, if we go into references in Word and look at what a footnote and endnote is, a footnote is placed at the bottom of the page and an endnote is placed at the end of the document. Question four. A document has been shared with you from your colleague's OneDrive library. They have given only you editing access. What can you do with this document? Now, I actually got this one wrong, and later I went back and looked up at the Microsoft support website, and this was the answer. Question five. In the image below, what do the red lines next to the text indicate? And that's going to be changes were made to this area. Question six, how can you add a manual line break to a paragraph? And the answer here is going to be shift enter. Question seven, you want to create an organizational chart which smart art category should you choose? And that's going to be hierarchy. Question eight. You want to create a shortcut that replaces an acronym that you type with the acronym's full text. For example, replacing forward slash MT with Microsoft Teams. What word feature do you use to create this shortcut? And that's going to be autocorrect. Question nine. What can you not insert into a Word document from the Insert tab? I should have looked at Word before I actually answered this one because the correct answer is a sketch. Question 10. What type of page is useful at the front of a large document to identify the document title, author, and other information? That's going to be a cover page. Question 11. You are typing text in two columns. When you reach the end of a paragraph in column 1, you want to start the next paragraph in column 1 or the next page. What type of break should you insert at this point? I got a little bit ahead of myself on this one, and it actually should be column break. Number 12. You are working on a local copy of a document when Word unexpectedly closes. After you relaunch Word, how can you find the most recent saved version of the document? I know that I selected the wrong answer because I didn't actually see the correct answer here. Here are two things that I do know. That you can go to File, Info, Manage Document, 
recover unsaved documents, and also when an Office app closes unexpectedly before you get a chance to save it, then document recovery will automatically open the next time you open up the Office app. I did not see either one of these options as an answer. So if anyone out there knows what the correct answer would have been here, please put it in the comments below. Number 13. You want to set a wider inside margin to accommodate binding a document where pages are printed on both sides. Which option should you choose in the Page Setup dialog box? And we are going to select Mirror Margins. Number 14. When you are typing in a paragraph and reach the end of the line, Word automatically starts a new line for you. What is this feature called? And that would be Word Wrap. Number 15. Which statement best describes how a bookmark is used in a Word document? It's going to be our first option. A bookmark works in conjunction with hyperlinks to allow you to quickly jump to a specific location in your document. As soon as you complete the last question, you are graded and you know if you passed or not. It's pretty much a pass or fail if you get above 70%. And you can choose if you want to make this badge visible on your LinkedIn profile. So I hope you now feel confident and prepared to take the LinkedIn skills assessment test yourself now. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and watch these other Word videos that I have. I think you'll get a few good tips out of them. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.